Uh, Dennis, um, obviously we're excited to be working with you today and, and in the past few weeks, uh, we're excited with the video that you've released. So just like to get a bit of a background of, of yourself and, um, and what your channel is about and what, what you do. Well, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Dennis and uh, I've been a CGI artist for about 13 years. Well, give or take. Uh, I have a YouTube channel on which I share a lot of different videos and teaching people how to use 3ds Max and generally a lot of uh, different softwares and more or less this is how we came to meet with the Envision VR team and Definitely. I can just say uh, right away that what kind of really blew me out of the way was the initial um, aspect of the software. So namely, when you see it, it kind of differs from anything else that, that is out there at the moment. The amount of quality you get out of the uh, out of the door or out of the box is just insane for the um, uh, amount of skill you need to achieve the set effect. So that is why I actually found your software very interesting, to say the least. Yeah, that's great to hear. So, and on that point specifically, like, is it what was the part that excited you the most? It was it the the VR experience, the AR experience, or just more? Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe expand a little bit more on that. Uh, if I if I would have to explain what enticed me the most, would be like initially, like I said, I've been working in this field for quite a, quite some time. I've seen a lot of different tools, and this thing stood out in the way that. The realism it offered with the minimum amount of input, it was just mind blowing for me. That's why I wanted to try this thing out, use it, and actually see if it's really this easy, which in the end, it actually did end up being that easy to use. That's great to hear. That's what we pride ourselves on. It's trying to make it as easy as, as, easy as possible for, for designers like yourself to be able to actually use the um the cutting edge virtual virtual reality experience um without having to upskill uh and be able to use your same skill sets so um can you maybe expand a little bit more on that process like what what was the process of engaging with us and and doing taking your design and putting it into the latest mobile vr and ar technology well you have two aspects you have the social and the technical aspect the social was amazing you guys are awesome cheery and it was a real pleasure talking to you. It wasn't like you're talking to a cor corporation. It was more like you're talking to a person who's there to help you out. So that was the, the awesome aspect. The technical aspect was, again, very smooth because it was very straightforward. You can, if you don't know how, what it is, you can check out the video. It's really well explained. But uh, if you get stuck on anything, you, you know that you can always get in touch with uh, the VR uh, team or Envision VR team, and they're always there to help you out. We know that because we even had a small technical issue, but we managed to uh, clear it out because it ended up in the end being a technical issue on my side. So that's another thing to add. You guys are open not just from for uh, to like help out with technical stuff on your side, but actually technical stuff on my side as well. So again, very open and very rare with large corporations nowadays. Yeah, no, that, that's that's good feedback because, um, yeah, that is our, our business model is we actually want to be the technology company that partners with the design professionals of the world. And in effect, we want we want to win when you guys win because like it, we want this to be a win win scenario. So um, so that's good to hear that that's a, the experience that you got. And I, I definitely agree. People need to watch your video to um, go through the actual process to see how easy it is. And and uh, so that, that's good to hear. Um, what, what were some of the exciting things that now you've been through the process and, and created your own um, virtual experience? Um, what opened up your mindset to things and possibilities that you could use this tool for in the future? Uh, the best thing that I can see this is for example, if you are a, let's put it this way, if you are a company, this has a lot of utility. If you're a freelancer, this has an, a lot of opportunity to get more uh, work or more clients. And the best thing is that 
for example, like I'm going to take both sides and explain what I mean. If you are um, just a freelancer who's trying to get some work, if you offer a render, or if you even offer one of the more simplistic just fly throughs, mm, we're coming to a point where that is simply not enough for a client or not enticing enough for a client, especially if it's a larger client. If you're working with just small clients, they might be okay with this, but when you upscale a bit, clients tend to want something that has a wow effect. This is what had the wow effect to me. It made it so it kind of makes your product stand out from the rest. That is why I think this is a very good uh, product, and that is why I like using it. Uh, if you were a company, on the other uh, hand, you're not trying to get clients, but you're trying to get more business. And this thing will really help you help out with your marketing section and trying to sell your product, being uh, real estate or even if you have a, a high-end physical product. So if you're uh, on the, the phone talking to high-end sale ticket people, like you're trying to upsell something, this is a, an amazing tool to use and actually help you make the sale. So this, at the end, should help you increase your profit margins. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Do you did you have some direct response from some of your family and friends that you actually got to experience the VR um, face to face, and and that you actually got to experience um, being inside the space and seeing the reactions? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, we did. All right. So uh, here's the thing: when you were watching this on the tablet or on the phone, it really looks great. It looks like a perfect presentation of the space. So it basically helps you envision how the actual um, place or how the actual apartment, house, pretty much anything would look without it even being built. But when you put that VR set on, on the head, damn, that's all I can say. It, it looked amazing. Uh, for the first time, especially if... Here is another actually very good point. If you are a person who hasn't had a chance to try out VR, when you put the set for the first time on, what happens is you get a perception for scale. And now you can really feel the entirety of your uh, room. You literally feel like you're in there. And you get antsy, you get jumpy, you want to see everything. You want to, you want to move around. And what your product does, it's doing that thing very, very good. I was really impressed by the quality of uh, the representation. Uh, like I also mentioned in the video, I was really blown out by the quality of the reflections. That's kind of really what sells the product for me because it's a realism. It doesn't have that uncanny valley feeling that you have with a lot of different um, products where when you jump in, even though you are in a well-made VR, it kind of still feels like it's a bit fake. This thing didn't have that. It just felt like you're really in the space. So that was a very, very uh, unexpected to me uh, effect. Like I said, initially, I've done uh, this sort of work for quite a long time, and it's been a really, really long time since I've actually had a product give me this type of a feeling, the the wow effect. And I think this is a this is an amazing tool to have for a company who is trying to sell something, and then they get their clients to come in or try this thing out without knowing or without knowing what they're coming in for. This will leave, really leave an impression on the client or on the buyer for any time. Yeah, thanks. That's great feedback. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, so for those uh, CGI firms um, that want to partner with us, um, how did you find the onboarding process, um, the online 
uh, course that we have in terms of the training material that we supplied was, yeah, how did you find that process? It was fairly straightforward. You go over, test it out, spend like 20 minutes of your time. Everybody has 20 minutes. You don't have to like do uh, much. Watch it through. You get the knowledge on how to uh, do uh, everything uh, with the program, how it works. Pretty much you get a crash uh, meeting of or a crash course on how everything works. So to anybody who actually wants to work with this, go and check out the course. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, well, thanks, Daz, for your time. It's been really good um, catching up with you, and we're very happy with the success of your video. And for anyone else that wants to see more, definitely would suggest going to see Dennis's video on his YouTube um, channel. But um, it's been really great working with you. Likewise, Michael, it was a pleasure working with you, and I hope we continue our cooperation in the future.